California voters go to the polls tomorrow in New Jersey, Montana, New Mexico, South Dakota, and North Dakota. And that's a lot of delegates up for grabs. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joins us live from Santa Barbara. And Tracy, you are here to break down the numbers for us. That's right, people are talking about the math, CJ. There are 475 delegates up for grabs in California and 71 superdelegates. That's about 10% of the superdelegates nationwide. And many of them have already pledged their support for Hillary at the start of her campaign. Without adding in superdelegates, Hillary Clinton has won 1,812 delegates to Bernie Sanders, 1,521 through primaries and caucuses. But if you add in 571 superdelegates, she has one more than needed to clinch the nomination. Superdelegates exist because the party does not trust the rank and file. Academics say appointed superdelegates were implemented by the Democrats in 1984 after party losses by George McGovern and Jimmy Carter. I have to understand, superdelegates are made up of, uh, of, of dignitaries. It's one group of governors and senators and members of Congress. It's another group. I mean, Bill Clinton, by virtue of having been president, would be a superdelegate. I wonder how he's going to vote. When Bernie Sanders started gaining support, his supporters started speaking out against superdelegates. There is a consistent voice that says superdelegates were created to solve a problem, but it's the wrong solution. We need to find it a, a different solution that feels transparent, uh, that feels fair. So long as we have a perception on the general public side that this is an unfair process. Their future could be at stake if Democrats lose the White House. As for Republicans, they don't have the same system, but they do have three leaders from each state obligated to vote according to the majority in their state. And tonight, Sanders supporters are angry at the media for adding in those superdelegates before they officially vote at the convention in July. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you.